Whenever I have a research project to work on, I always start searching in databases because I know that they can save me lots of time. This database is put together by Facts on File. It's called World Almanac for Kids. So my research, I'm trying to figure out who would win in a battle, a honeybee or a wasp. So in my search box, I put in honeybee, and this is the article that I found. Um, and as I scroll down, I see some general information about bees. Um, but there's also a, a section all about honeybees here. So I could get some good details here, um, including, you know, their social organization, how they communicate, their activities. So I know that I'm definitely going to use this article. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and aha, this is one of the reasons why databases make my life easier. Look at the citation information is already done for me in MLA format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor right before the quotation mark and I'm going to click and I'm going to drag all the way to the greater than sign, the period. And I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to use Command C as the shortcut to copy that. If I were using a PC, it would be Control C to copy it. Now I already have EasyBib opened and I'm logged in. And I want this to go into my honeybee versus wasp project in, in EasyBib. And remember that I'm, I want that citation that was already done for me to go into my bibliography. So I'm simply going to go and click on bibliography right here. Remember that whenever you go into the bibliography section of EasyBib, it always defaults to website. But I'm not using a website, even though I'm accessing it online. Technically, it's a database which means, well, we subscribe to databases at Rumsey, and, um, you know, the, the information is checked by editors, so that's another reason why databases save me so much time. So I want to make sure that I click on this tab that says database, and I know that now I'm on that tab because it's in blue, and I'm going to go right here to where it says copy and paste, and I'm going to click on that link, the one that says copy and paste where that hand is hovering. So click and it gets me to this page. So I'm simply going to put my cursor, I'm going to click, I'm going to use the shortcut on a Mac, it's Command V, and look at that, that citation is already done for me. In order to get it officially into my project's uh, bibliography, I just need to click the orange button, Create Citation. So once I do that, hooray, here's your new citation. And you can see that it is that's what it'll look like. It looks great. Um, notice that that URL is right there. If I want to get back to that same um, article quickly from home or three days from now at school, I can simply copy and paste, or if it's hyperlinked, I can click on this and I get right back to that article. So something else that really saves me a lot of time. And um, once I scroll down, if I had more citations in my bibliography right now, I would see them, they'd be in alphabetical order by whatever comes first. But since that was my first citation that I created, you can see um, just that one in my list. That's it. It's simple. Have fun.